Do you know Islam on the rise in England? And Christianity is in dramatic decline. Hey guys, welcome back to Epic Halo, the channel where we explore fascinating religions and stories from around the world. Today, we have some incredible religious news from the UK that has made headlines and is sure to capture your attention. It's a story of shifting demographics, particularly among Christians and Muslims. So let's dive right in. According to the recent 2023 census reported by the BBC, there has been a significant shift in religious demographics in England and Wales. This census reveals that, for the first time ever, less than half of the population identifies as Christians. In 2011, approximately 59.3% of people described themselves as Christian, but in the latest census, that number has decreased to 46.2%. In contrast, the number of people stating no religion has seen an increase, rising to 37.2% in 2023. Additionally, the Muslim population has experienced growth, with the percentage of individuals identifying as Muslim rising from 4.9% in 2011 to 6.5% in the most recent census. These findings illustrate the evolving religious landscape in England and Wales, showcasing a decline in Christian identification and an increase in those identifying as having no religion or as Muslims. This reflects the changing religious affiliations and beliefs within the population of England and Wales in the year 2023. The census, carried out every decade by the Office for National Statistics, offers a valuable glimpse into the religious affiliations of the population. It is essential to understand that selecting the option of no religion does not automatically imply a lack of beliefs or spirituality. Professor Linda Woodhead, hailing from King's College London, has clarified that this category encompasses individuals who identify as atheists, agnostics, or those who consider themselves spiritual but do not align with any particular religious tradition. In essence, it recognizes the diverse range of philosophical and spiritual perspectives present within the population. Now, if you're interested in exploring further, I encourage you to check out my previous videos, where I delve into the topic of Muslim populations increasing in non-Muslim countries. These videos offer valuable insights into the growth of the Muslim community and its impact on various societies around the world. So, be sure to watch those videos and join the conversation. It's a fascinating topic that sheds light on the evolving religious landscape and the dynamics of multicultural societies. In Scotland, the census conducted in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic revealed similar trends to those observed in England and Wales. The census, which was postponed by a year due to the pandemic, showed a significant decline of 5.4 million individuals identifying as Christians. This decline represents a 17% decrease compared to previous census data. On the other hand, there was a notable increase of 1.2 million people identifying as Muslim, bringing the Muslim population in Scotland to 3.9 million. This surge indicates a remarkable 43% increase in the Muslim population. This census outcome marks a historic moment as it signifies the first time in the census history of England and Wales that less than half of the population identified as Christian. These shifts in religious identification reflect the evolving religious landscape and the growing diversity of religious affiliations in the region. It highlights the need for a broader understanding and recognition of different religious traditions and practices within the community. Let's talk about London. Despite the negative portrayal of Islam in the popular press, the Muslim community in the UK, particularly in London, is indeed thriving. London has the highest concentration of Muslims among all the regions in the UK. According to Five Pillars, a trusted UK Muslim news site, 15% of London's population identifies as Muslim, which is an increase from 12.6% in 2021. This translates to over 1.3 million Muslims residing in the diverse and vibrant city of London alone. These statistics reflect the significant presence and influence of the Muslim community in London, highlighting its cultural, social, and economic contributions to the city. It emphasizes the importance of recognizing and celebrating the diversity of religious and cultural identities within the fabric of society, promoting inclusivity and fostering a sense of belonging for all communities. Zara Muhammad, the Secretary General of the Muslim Council of Britain, has commented on the census data, shedding light on the valuable contributions made by the youthful Muslim population to the workforce of the nation. She emphasized that second and third generation Muslims exhibit a strong sense of confidence in their faith and play a significant role in the economic recovery and vitality of the country. The remarks from Zara Muhammad highlight the positive impact and active participation of young Muslims in various sectors, such as business, education, healthcare, technology, and more. Their contributions not only contribute to the economic growth of the country but also enrich the cultural and social fabric of the society at large. By acknowledging the important role of the youthful Muslim population, Zara Muhammad emphasizes the potential and capabilities of this group, 
emphasizing the need for inclusivity and equal opportunities for all, irrespective of religious or cultural backgrounds. This recognition serves to promote unity, diversity, and the overall well-being of the nation. The census data regarding the growth of the Muslim population in the UK holds broader implications for the Muslim community and highlights the historical and cultural significance of Islam within English history and heritage. Islam, as a faith with historical connections to figures such as Moses, Abraham, Jesus, and Muhammad, has deep roots that intertwine with the country's religious tapestry alongside Christianity. The mention of Henry Stubb, a physician to King James I, is an example of early appreciation and recognition of Islam's similarities with Unitarian Christianity. This historical context indicates that Islam has been acknowledged and studied throughout English history, contributing to a broader understanding of different religious traditions and fostering interfaith dialogue. By recognizing the historical roots and contributions of Islam, it becomes clear that the growth of the Muslim population in the UK is not solely attributed to immigration but also to conversions, including a notable number of English individuals embracing the faith. This demonstrates that Islam has found resonance and appeal among certain segments of the population, including women who may find values of dignity and empowerment within the religion. Overall, the census data sheds light on the evolving religious landscape in the UK, with Islam playing a significant role alongside Christianity, both in terms of historical connections and the present-day growth of the Muslim community. It underscores the importance of recognizing and respecting the diverse religious heritage and identities that contribute to the cultural fabric of the nation. Indeed, the growth of Islam in the UK is not solely attributed to immigration but also to conversions, including a significant number of English individuals embracing the faith. This highlights that Islam's appeal extends beyond cultural or ethnic boundaries and that people from various backgrounds are finding resonance in its teachings and values. It is noteworthy that women, in particular, are attracted to Islam's values, which emphasize the dignity of women. The Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad contain verses and teachings that highlight the importance of treating women with respect, equality, and honor. These teachings challenge societal norms and perceptions regarding the role and status of women, often providing an alternative perspective that resonates with individuals seeking empowerment and a sense of dignity. By embracing Islam, individuals, including women, may find a spiritual path that aligns with their values and provides a supportive community. The appeal of Islam's teachings on gender equality, social justice, and spiritual fulfillment can stand in contrast to the materialism and objectification of women that may be prevalent in wider society. It is important to recognize that individuals' motivations for embracing Islam are diverse and multifaceted. While some may be drawn to its values regarding women's dignity, others may find solace in its spiritual teachings, moral guidance, or sense of community. The reasons for conversion to Islam are deeply personal and can vary from individual to individual. The growing number of English people, including women, who have embraced Islam indicates the religion's ability to resonate with individuals seeking a faith that aligns with their values and provides a sense of belonging. This contributes to the religious and cultural diversity of the UK and further shapes the country's religious landscape. To summarize, the census results reveal a significant shift in religious demographics in the UK. Christianity is declining, while Islam is experiencing notable growth. This suggests that Islam will likely become the main focus of monotheistic energy in Britain as the other Abrahamic faiths continue to decline. That wraps up our coverage of this remarkable religious news from the UK. Stay tuned to Epic Halo for more thought-provoking stories from around the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring and stay epic.